In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Holy Spirit was with them also. The Spirit of God before the world began hovered above the face of the deep. In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit moved, or He hovered. In the Hebrew, that word moved or hovered actually means that the Spirit brooded over creation. As a bird incubates its eggs, so the Holy Spirit, the gentle dove, brooded over, incubated creation. In partnership with the Father and the Son, the Spirit moved upon the spoken words of the Trinity, causing all things to come into existence. The Holy Spirit was not a bystander, but an active force in creation. He hovered at the beginning of the world. Then tragedy occurred. The Father's heart was broken as he watched his creation choose to enter into the darkness of sin. Man became wicked, so God decided to start over, to begin again. He commanded a global flood which washed away everything, everyone except for Noah and his family, God's favored people who survived on an ark. After the flood, looking for somewhere to begin again, Noah released a dove from the ark. The dove was released once and returned to the ark. No sign of dry land. The dove was released a second time. It returned again, but this time with a branch. Dry land was appearing. The dove was released a third time. It didn't return. The dove found where God would begin the world again. Interestingly, we do not see the dove land in the book of Genesis, nor do we see it land in the Old Testament. It's not until Matthew chapter 3 that we finally see the dove landing. Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 says, After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were open and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. The dove, the Holy Spirit, is a symbol of new beginnings. When the Holy Spirit hovered above the face of the deep, God created the world. When the Holy Spirit hovered above the Son of God, the Father truly began creation anew. A new creation, a new man, a heavenly reality. And to this day, wherever the Holy Spirit broods, something fresh appears. God is searching for a place to create, for an obedient vessel who will allow the Holy Spirit to rest upon them. God is announcing the dawning of a new creation in you. The Holy Spirit is hovering. He is brooding. God is doing something new. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free videos like this, sign up to my emailing list to receive a weekly email. Just go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Sign up today. Remember, it's absolutely free. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.